In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create own global libraries for storing your the peripheral devices or your new created application functions and then also being able to provide it to other to others for reusing your devices or your application functions. First of all, we create here a new global library. By doing so, we give it a name, for example, my library. I also give it here the author, a proper one. Uh, it's me. I can also give it here a comment and then I'm creating it. The library is now being created and within that library, I can then also create as in Windows folders like here, for example, I can do a peripheral folder. I can do an application function folder and I'm also able to store here uh, complete uh, automation stations. So that's, for example, how you can organize your library and then simply by drag and dropping from an existing uh, device, for example, here the room operator unit where we have done a special configuration which we would like to reuse for other projects um, or distribute it to other colleagues uh, who also work with room programming. I simply drag and drop it here to my library and then I'd copy it to it. This is uh, the same workflow for peripheral devices, also here for application functions. Um, this is simply a drag and drop. The same applies also for controllers than here from the PNV. I simply drag and drop them into the library. Then um, if the library is set, I can close the library and then I also need to save it once. Yes, I need to save it. And then if I want to reuse it on another computer or on another project, I simply open it here. Uh, as we have seen before here, it goes directly to my library. I have here my library and here it's an important thing. When you open your library and you would like to uh, add additional things into it, then you need to take care that you open it not as read only. Otherwise, you will not be able to add additional stuff into your library. You're just able to reuse it in other projects. So that's an important tick box here when you would like to extend your library with other stuff.